The secret, cancer is a worldwide killer, and the number of cancer cases is expected to rise. There are a number of therapies available, but many are toxic and can cause serious side effects. There's some new research out that looks at how vitamin C can impact cancer cell growth. Let's talk about this with Dr. Scott Ackerman. Good to have you here. So vitamin C proved more effective than experimental drugs? Well, in this study, they took um, uh, cancer cells and those actually cancer stem cells and they exposed those stem cells to different drugs some different cancer chemotherapeutic agents experimental ones and also some natural drugs and they found out that all of these had some impact on the growth and and, and propagation of the uh, cancer stem cells and vitamin c believe it or not had a more of an impact than any of the others you know, and it's, it's interesting to note that uh, I read an article in one of the medical journals the other day that a lot of people are being excluded from cancer care because they can't afford the medications. But when you talk about vitamin C, it's inexpensive, it's natural, it's widely available. This could be a significant step. It could be. Now, we know that vitamin C is used to help the immune system. And we've been looking at vitamin C since the 70s at fighting cancer. And it hasn't been FDA approved for any for any cancer treatment yet. Some people have looked at, have done studies with vitamin C in high doses, intravenous doses for cancer. And those, and those studies really haven't panned out. And there haven't been any studies that have shown definitively that vitamin C could fight cancer. But with this most recent study, perhaps we can use vitamin C as an adjunct, or, me, or meaning with other drugs, to enhance the effects of these other drugs and help to minimize recurrence of cancer. So is the next step clinical trials to see if they work in tandem? With these other drugs? Yes, I think so. Um, again, this study was in the Petri dish. We just looked at cells, you know, just cells. And so I think this validates that there may be a utility in using vitamin C. And so I, what, what, I, what I would think would happen is that some of the newer chemotherapeutic agents that people are using, maybe in those studies, they'll also add vitamin C or they'll look at, the, they'll look at those drugs with and without vitamin C to see if the vitamin C enhances that. I don't think vitamin C in and of itself is going to be used to um, to fight cancer or minimize the risk of cancer recurrence, but in combination with or as an adjunct to other therapies, um, it, it may be beneficial. But if you follow federal guidelines, it couldn't hurt to make sure that you've got the daily recommended dose of vitamin C. Better to get it through natural means, you know, fruits, juices, and things like that, or supplements work. Well, I think it's always better to get it through natural means, and you know, oranges and grapefruits and those sort of things. <clears throat> we also know that bell peppers. And even carrots have vitamin C in them. But getting back a second to what you said about uh, using vitamin C when you have cancer, I think one needs to be a little bit careful and talk to their physician when they're going through cancer treatment. Because vitamin C, while they're getting cancer treatment, while they're getting chemotherapy or radiotherapy, actually may act in opposition to those therapies. And vitamin C may be better once the treatments are over to minimize the risk of recurrence or minimize the risk of it spreading. But actually during treatments, you, you need to be careful with some of these natural, um, uh, not medication, but natural vitamins and those sort of things, herbals, because they could have an adverse effect. Some of them could have an adverse effect with the standard chemotherapy or radiation therapy that one might be receiving. Which is why it's important when you fill out your patient forms when you first go to the doctor, include supplements, not just prescription right. drugs, because you need to know that information. Uh, if you know someone who could find this information beneficial, you can share it with them later this morning. We'll post this interview on newsforjax.com on the morning show page by about 10.30. Doc, always good to have you here. Appreciate it.